Greetings and salutations, young true believers. So today I want to talk to you about Ali Hassan's response to Stephen Hetherington's criticisms of internalism. Very briefly, what Hetherington is arguing is that in order for the internalist position to make sense and not lead to an infinite regress, and again, infinite regress being an endless chain of causals, uh, causal seat, an endless chain of causes stretching back into eternity, right? Uh, the internalist, right, like Ali Hassan, has to have awareness of their awareness of knowledge, right? It's not enough to simply respond to it, uh, a stimuli of some kind, right? Um, in order, and again, this is, goes back to a human conceit, what, dis, what distinguishes us from the non-human animals, right? Uh, it might be argued that, well, look, non-human animals are aware of their environment, but they don't they don't reflect on their awareness of being aware. That's what consciousness is. And so they lack consciousness. Um, Hassan wants to argue that while that might seem to be a, a damning criticism on a surface, he thinks he can respond to it. So in, as uh, Hassan writes here, page 123, Stephen Harrington, uh, Hetherington rather, presents a challenging dilemma for the internalist. It turns on a question, does epistemic justification require that the subject have internal access to, that is, be aware, or at least be able to become aware of some evidence and of its being good evidence, right? And he notes that if the internalist answers no, right, for example, re by requiring access to the evidence, but not to its being good evidence, then the review, then that view, that is to say internalism, does not satisfy classical internalist thinking and is not interesting looking different from externalism. If the internalist answers yes, then the requirement becomes so demanding that none of our beliefs would be justified before we could never do enough reflecting to satisfy the requirement. The problem arises from the fact that it might seem to me that I have good evidence for some claim or proposition, say, uh, there's a large oak tree in the courtyard, but in fact, this seeming is an illusion. In order to be justified, I must be able to rule out this possibility, or at least set it aside as a mere possibility and unlikely possibility, right? So that's the dilemma that um, on Hetherington's view, the internalist in, is in. Now the question is, can Hassan respond to it? And he attempts to make a response. In defending internalism, I characterize the access required for justification in terms of actual or potential awareness. That is the ability to become aware of good grounds, grounds whose relevance to the belief the subject can appreciate. So I do accept something at least roughly like Hetherington's characterization of internalism as the view that justification requires access to good evidence and to its being good evidence. We have just seen an argument that this leads to an utterly unsatisfiable standard. How do I respond? And he notes, uh, I don't require that the justified subject have a seeming or awareness that the evidence is good evidence, right? An appreciation of the relevance of evidence is what one believes, or an appreciation of the evidence evidence is pertinent goodness for some belief, right? It does not need involve literally applying the concept of good evidence. All that is required is that the subject be aware of something's making true or making probable what one sees. And he goes on to use the examples of um, if this taste, right, reminds me of sal uh, salty experiences, a taste of salty that I've had in the past, right? Um, that's sufficient, right? It fits, it matches, it corresponds, as he puts it, right? Um, similarly, right? Uh, if I have an experience that um, I have a headache, right? All that matters for our part is not that I have, you know, good grounds, but it reminds me of a relation, right? What kind of relation? And he tells us here, uh, this is the bottom of 125. A long tradition of internalists holds that awareness can take a non-representational form, representing, in other words, of being an appearance in my mind, representing to me, right? To be directly non-representationally aware of something is to stand in a real relation to it. When it comes to a real relation, it can't exist without its relata or things related. I cannot, for example, be aware of my having a headache without the existence of a headache, right? It's, it makes no sense, right? It's incomprehensible. Anyone say, I'm aware of my having a headache if you do not, in fact, have a headache. So there has to be a relation there, right? And that relation, Hassan wants to say, is all the good grounds that the internalist needs to, to have for a making true or making probable relation, all right? So he considers one last objection that Hetherington might uh, offer up here on page 126. 
One might object that even if I do have a direct awareness of this sort, don't I also need to be aware that I have this direct awareness or know that this awareness is not illusory, is not a mere seeming and so on. In other words, do I need to be conscious of my awareness, right? Do I need to be to reflect on it? Do I need to uh, introspect, as it were? And Hassan answers, I don't think so. Internalism requires that the subject be able to be aware of some evidence, and on my view, it's pertinent goodness. It does not or need not require that one be aware of the fact that one is aware of the evidence and its pertinent goodness. Um, I think that's a weakness in the internalist view myself. Uh, if we can't reflect on a knowledge we've acquired or the awarenesses that we have, then it doesn't seem like that the internalist view is necessarily conducive to good uh, epistemological study, right? And after all, the name of the game with epistemology is we want to get clear on what the human, what knowledge is, A, and then what, B, what human capacity for knowledge is in the first place. And if we need not reflect or think about what it means for us to be aware of being aware that we have knowledge, uh, then it seems like that those possibilities are precluded.